Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just going to go for a few PPM checks, that's planned preventive maintenance checks on a pump. So here we are, this is a circulating pump on the system. It's a variable temperature pump, a VT pump. So it goes off to the building. You have your constant, constant temperature pumps circulating around the boilers, but this is the VT pump which goes off to the various parts of the building. So here we have it here. We're gonna just, we've got the pump off, but let's just check to make sure that it is off. So we have our multimeter on volts and we are checking from phase to phase. There are three phases here. So if I'm telling you what you already know, so there we have it, it's no power. So just as a temp temporary precaution, I'm also using my volt stick to make sure that the power is off. Now I'm going to switch to amps and I'm gonna check each of the phases. So here we have it on our panel. So we're gonna switch over to pump number one. So as you can see, it is circulating now. Always ensure that the pumps are circulating the correct direction. So you can see this one is going this direction and that make sure it's not going the wrong direction. A way of checking that is by turning it on and off and then you can see it start up. This is an auto ranging multimeter but sometimes it doesn't pick up what is needed so here we go to AC and we have 0.87 on one phase if you check on your data badge you can get the details required to see what amps it should be pulling so we have 0.87 here now we're on another phase 1.23 and 0.8 so there's a, there's a difference in the output so I'm going to check my connections I'm going to turn the power back off and tighten up my connections and then double check so the one previous was the gauge before my pump on the suction side and this is on the discharge side but the gauges you can't always depend on them that they are working okay so i've been checking my connections tightening them up as well and making sure that they're all the way home and that they're not on a short thread the connections look pretty good to me to vent my pump I've temporarily put the case back on okay I'm checking my amps again so that was phase one phase two and then finally phase three you can also use the inrush feature, so that is for it to record the, the amps when the pump starts up. When the pump motor starts up, it record how many amps it is pulling on the initial starter. Okay, so we're gonna switch over to the other twin pump, number two now, and see what that is pulling. So 0.87 on one phase, 1.41 on another phase, and 1.03 on the last phase. I'm gonna check my connections. So before I tighten up my connections, this is just to show you how to check from phase to phase. You can also check from a neutral. If you've got a neutral, you can check from a neutral to a phase. If you wanna see what each individual phase is doing, but this is phase to phase. Do bear in mind, that you can check the amps on these from the control panel i'm not in this case but you can check from the control panel so check in again so from the last phase to the middle phase to the last phase 
Okay, so this is a pump, um, an old pump that has been removed. Let's check the windings on this. So I'm going to remove all the connections. I'm going to remove all the connections and then check the windings. Okay, so um, forgive me for not having my crocodile connections in doing this. Um, I couldn't find them. So here we have it in our Ohm's resistance. So we have, you just keep going along until you find two that give you a resistance reading and then you take a reading. And here we have it, 3.1 and then We have our next connections there, and then we'll move on. And now the third reading. So it looks like on our windings, we had good, consistent resistance. So what I am assuming is that this unit started to leak. So it must have been leaking from the bearings and then because it was leaking the unit was replaced the pump um, body and motor was replaced but it looks like the windings on this pump are probably fine and it could be this the pump motor could be used if the seals were repaired Okay, a few other things. Going back to our variable temperature pump, a few things on this that you should know. DN number, diameter nominal. Always record those when you're looking to replace the pump body. Pressure nominal here, 16. Also, measuring the distance from flange to flange is important when replacing the body. Finding out whether it's single phase or three phase is important. Also know that you have the, the pump body details here. And then up here you have the motor details bear in mind as well that sometimes that you may need to build up a support underneath the pump so have um, bear that in mind when you're measuring it up because they can't just be freestanding they need to have support underneath okay i hope some of this information has helped you okay until next time please leave comments in the section below bye bye bye